Hello, welcome to the Games Brewer Studios. We're just doing a quick recap on the Felixstowe and District Council for Sports and Recreations Sports Awards for 2014, which took place at the Felixstowe Town Hall on Monday the 23rd of March at 7.30 and quite a boisterous crowd got its way up the stairs and into the main chamber. Anyway, the, uh, the awards are varied and numerous. Um, we award seven individual awards plus a, a, a number of certificates of achievement plus the inter-town competition between Felixstowe and Woodbridge. So if we start from the top, the first award um, given by Coastal Fitness was given for the Sports Personality of the Year. And this year that honor fell to Catherine Renault. And this was for her membership and superb performance in the England's Faux Ladies Internationals Bow Team. Uh, she was in that at the uh, tender age of just 18. And as you may recall, last year she did actually win that outright. And this year she was a uh, runner-up. So for an 18, 19 year old, that's quite an amazing achievement. And uh, she continues to storm ahead, um, help others, and needless to say, play for the Suffolk County, both I believe adult and junior. Isn't that amazing? So well done to Catherine on being uh, the Felixstowe Council's Sports Personality of 2014. We then move on to the next award and that's a Junior Sports Personality of the Year. And this is given by Piero the Stationers. Uh, they are the sponsor of this. And the recipient of that this year was uh, Carolyn Baldwin of the Felixstowe Hockey Club. And um, she's really done, gone from strength to strength uh, across, really, the, the whole gamut of uh, hockey. She's been um, a Stuart supporter of new members and young members. And we come on, actually, a little later to how successful the hockey team has been. Not only in UK terms, but now we, have, we understand in European terms. So let's move on to the next award, which is from um, the Felixstowe Star. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, we don't seem to have that here. And the reason is that the write-up on the um, <laughs> hockey team was uh, presented, but the wordage was not released. Now, I'm aware that it was won by the phenomenally improved um, all-age, all-sex hockey club, which, as most of you know, uh, is located up on the all-weather pitch up at the old Orwell School site. And it would appear probably um, unexpected massive benefits. Uh, the FA sponsoring the all-weather pitch to be joint uh, soccer and hockey has made a massive, massive difference to the playability of the sport and everything else. So I believe now it's been the fastest growing hockey team anywhere in the UK. And last year was uh, given the best performing hockey club within UK. But we were told at the award ceremony that they are now being considered to be put forward as a European Hockey Club of the uh, Year 2014. So isn't that astounding for such a small town? We then go on to... Um, that was actually uh, given by the Felixstowe Star, as it used to be. I'm not quite sure where it is now, really, because it's the Ipswich and Felixstowe Star, isn't it? Because we no longer have, have a paper. Just going to have a quick sip. Mmm. Oh, gin this early in the morning. It's all far, far too much. So we then move on to the next award, which was presented by if, if, sorry, East Cliff Carpets. 
and this was for club officials of the year and that was presented to Helen and David Nichols for the Felix Doe Skating Club. Now over the past dozen years or so Helen and David have given up thousands of hours to actually coach and administer at Ipswich Skating Club which they founded and now they've actually brought that same facility here into Felixstowe and they've been various locations more recently they are at the Felixstowe Academy so well done to Helen and David Nichols on the award of club official of the year 2014 on to the next which is uh, sponsored by Walton Barbers um, which lives up there in our oldest settlement, Walton. I'm a bit partial to Walton, I must admit. Oh, right. What we have here is uh, an award that's given in the name of um, Stan Cox, and it's a memorial trophy. Stan Cox, as some of you may recall, was our Olympian from this town that took part in a, in a number of uh, uh, Olympic uh, competitions. And this is given to actually uh, encourage, I suppose, people's contribution to uh, services to sport. And it's been recognised that Paul Mortmain, the Felix Doe Karate Club, has done a sterling job over many years in teaching uh, a number of folk in our town uh, karate up to the level of uh, black belt and uh, should be very careful who you tangle with in this town because the most innocent and slight of people may have actually benefited from the uh, self-defense that karate gives folk uh, against the would-be bullies of this world so well done to paul and this was uh, as i said sponsored by uh, walton barbers and on to the next and this is uh, given by Wainwrights, the estate agents, and it's actually progress in junior sport. And it's very fitting, I think, that the uh, recipient is Ben uh, Caldwell, who is a member of the Felix Doe Junior, uh, sorry, Felix Doe Judo Club, 17-year-old, uh, um, former Felix Doe Academy, whatever, he's been doing judo since the age of nine. Uh, he currently goes to Suffolk New College and to Anglia Ruskin University in Cambridge, uh, where he's hoping to do, or is doing, an advanced apprenticeship in sporting excellence for judo. So he really is a very major contributor, done a whole stack of competitions, and um, here he is. He's now into county junior events and is also learning to, to referee as well. So very great benefit to the town, Judo and himself. Uh, we then moved on to a number of others. We, we uh, presented a certificate of achievement to Carrie Eve, who's a member of the Deben Riding Club. Now, I think as a sports person, to be in control of your own two legs is, is pretty good but to be in charge of your own, plus four, uh, with, with, with an animal, such, uh, such as a, a, an horse, is of particular significance. And she has um, been a, 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 an amazing um, supporter and competitor within the Deben Riding Club, and well done to uh, Carrie Eve on her Certificate of Achievement. We then step on to the exciting event, which was the um, presentation of the Intertown Sports Challenge Trophy, which uh, is a competition that's run every year over a number of different sports between Felixstowe here and uh, Woodbridge there. And uh, strange to relate, for the fourth year running, um, with uh, quite a wide margin, Felixstowe ended up uh, retaining uh, the cup. So well done Felix Stowe and good on you Woodbridge for turning up and making it possible. Uh, the awards were presented for in, in the main by um, our Deputy Mayor 
But this particular award was presented by Susan Hawley, the Deputy uh, Chairman of Suffolk Coastal uh, District Council. Now, following the, um, the award ceremony, we actually had a very interesting presentation by guest speaker Adam Baker. And I love this title. He's the most active county project manager. And I'm quite sure there are less active uh, project managers within the vast army that is Suffolk County Council. Anyway, he came to talk to us about how very important it is for quality of life and even length of life that one does at least half an hour of exercise uh, probably daily and perhaps a couple of stiff bits of exercise twice a week or so. And what he did say, and perhaps you know this already, but perhaps you didn't, um, actually exercising is, uh, makes twice the impact on life expectancy than actually um, obesity. On that, I mean, if you don't exercise, you're actually going to depart our shores a little earlier than you might have done if you'd done just a bit. So things like walking, football, and other things are happening. Now, following this, um, I believe, and I don't know whether our production team are going to do this, but the shortest AGM ever exercised uh, should be available for you as a instant spot. So that was the exciting presentation of all the sports awards for 2014. So if during the course of this year, 2015, you have a particular sports person of note or somebody that's on celebrated, then make your views known to the Felixstowe District Sports Council and I'm sure they will be considered for this forthcoming year's Sports Voice. Thank you for watching and um, stay active, get out there and follow the example of the most active project manager, I suppose, probably, if not in the, the eastern region, could even be in the whole of the UK, young Adam Baker, on that very high note. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.